Hey guys, it's Mad Roy here from Music Frame TV, and today we're gonna do a DIY. I'm gonna change my back brake parts and router from my Dodge Journey 2010. Let's go. Yeah, I was trying to put my tire under there all the time. So now, as you can see, the brakes is pretty much gone. I'm rubbing steel to steel. Now my team first. I'm going to take this out. Maybe kind of snug it. Let's see. Grab another way there. Let's do that way. Okay, correct way. I always put it that you can find it. I put mine close. Next one up. Maybe behind me. Put it aside, make sure you don't break any of these cards. Yeah, my brakes rubbing on the rubbing steel and steel on the router. So now I'm just gonna take the brakes off. All done. Now we're going to take this off. It's going to be like this. Most people have power tools that they take it off with, but I don't, so I'm just using what I got. Because I don't can't I don't really don't have that money to pay these. So in order to move this. Not good anymore. Since 2010, design first time change. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna this here. It's a uh, Tool that you can you can get it from a Canadian tire, the Canadian tire from part source. You can rent this from part source for ninety dollars, ninety dollars. Um, then you can bring it back and get back your ninety dollars. So you get a use of it. So you rent a tool for free, I guess. 
That's it. Okay. So what do we do with this shit? Put it over there. Make sure you can. This one is the one that got screwed down, so probably chop us on bitch. And this is my first time doing a Dodge journey. You know, I'm from like I'm from the Caribbean, so most of my work I do on my own because I can't afford going to a garage. Garage prices are not easy. Let's go with this one. It's kind of hard. Okay. Okay. Let's start moving now. So every time that it done a bit, keep it snug. Press the gun. It to go back perfectly. Put it out the way for a little bit. Now comes the rotor. Oh the rotor. That's easy for the rotor. This back on goes on like this. And let's get the bolts. There we go. And this does this is gonna cause that uh, this is gonna cause that the garage about Three to three hundred fifty dollars or more. And it, could have, it could be done outside in my parking lot just for the cause of the product. And like I said, I'm not a I'm not a mechanic or a license mechanic, I just love doing stuff myself. Because basically, you know, poor people need to do stuff themselves. So, this is none but the brakes. One side. This one always going the back with this. So, this is the warning. Make the warning and go squeak, squeak. There we go. Brakes are in. Now, caliper. Some trouble. So I got it. Yep. Now most 
people have some special stuff they do, special days, special that. I don't know, not to, I don't do special stuff. I just get it done and get it running again. My wife always tells me, she yeah, said to me, you should go and get your license as a mechanic. And I can make a lot of money. That is, that is, for now, we finished putting on the brakes, new brakes, new router. That is how we do it at home. Easy as that. All you have to do now is put on back the, the tire and you're good to go. Okay? There you have it. How to change your brake pads and router on a Dodge Journey 2010. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, Music Frame TV. Love ya.